Hey guys, Jen here. Just kidding, this is Jen. Hey guys, it's Jen. Remember how we did the video in Croatia about grocery shopping? So I can kind of show Americans what it's like to go grocery shopping in another country. Well, guess what? We're here at our local grocery store in the US. We're here at Giant. We're gonna show you who don't live in the US what it's like to go grocery shopping in the US. You know what? Because I did the one in Croatia, Milos is gonna lead you through this one. You'll have your Croatian shopping in the United States. All right, so let's go in and let's see what's grocery shopping in the United States. And this pertains more for Pennsylvania when Jim lives. The United States is a huge country, so we do know it's different. So before we enter the store, I just have a little addendum, if you will. So the video that we had grocery shopping in Croatia, that one got quite a bit of, let's say, love and comments. The video that we did in grocery shopping in Croatia, we just really wanted to show really people who don't live in Croatia and Europe in general. We wanted to show Americans how it would look shopping in Croatia. It was not meant to show or say what was good or bad. And I, again, I rewatched the video and we never at one point said what was good or bad, just simply showing the differences. And I also want to make this clear, the vast majority of things you can get in Croatia, same as you can get here. We're just going to try to show some differences. So whatever I say, I'm not saying it's better or worse. I'm just going to try to give you my opinion about what shopping in the United States is versus shopping in Croatia. So the town where Jen lives in, Pennsylvania, it's almost the same size as the town that we live in back in Croatia. So it's comparably the same size town, but you will see how different the store is. I mean, there's some similarities, but definitely some differences and you will see the difference in size comparing to the same number of people uh, living in a town. So let's go and see. Previously they did not have alcohol. You could not buy alcohol in stores like these, which would be equivalent of Konzum in Croatia, for example. That was extremely annoying. Now you can buy alcohol but it's only beer and wine so we can show you here and on this side over here it's mostly beers and they're mostly american brands you know ipa pale pale uh, but i'm not going to spend too much time on that because i really don't drink beer uh, here we have wines different flavored wines champagnes sparkling wines and whatnot here this section over here you have wine you have a decent choice of different wines. I mean, also what's different here, you know, in Croatia you have Qualitet Novino and then you have Vrhunsko Vino, which you know that it's top quality or much better quality than the other one. And here you don't have that. Here you can only, you can only kind of judge by the price and hope that it's good if it's more expensive. Average, you know, 15. This is the wine that we like. This is around $23, so equivalent of, I don't know, 130 kuna. Whereas in Croatia, what we drink is uh, Dingach by Madiraca, which is about 80, 85 kuna if you go to Konzum, so that's a really good deal. The size wise, this is about equivalent, except in Croatia and Konzum, you can buy any kind of booze that you want. You can buy spirits, vodka, whiskey, cognac, whatever you want. Um, so there's definitely a downside um, here in the United States. I'm not sure if it's with every state. So next, what we're going to show you is quite a bit of difference. And this is, I think, that got a lot of quote unquote love or hate comments was um, commenting on the fruit and vegetable section so it, it is a significant difference and it's simply size and choice so let's go see so just to show you a little difference see this whole section over here this is apples alone and look how many different uh, breeds or different kinds of apples you have this is just apples on this side this is just apples and okay there's there's pears as well uh, so this is one of the things that we were alluding to in our Croatia video. This is simply how much choice. So it's also not true that you do not have uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. Now, how they taste, that's very different. Fruits and vegetables especially taste significantly better in Croatia. And I'm not saying for those of you from US, again, I'm not saying that you cannot find vegetables that taste good in US. But overall, if I'm going to generalize, Vegetables just taste, the flavor is so much richer in Croatia. Jen, the first time she ever tried a tomato, which for me was just a regular tomato, nothing special. She said this was the best tomato that she's ever tried. She's like, which brand is this? And I'm 
just looking whatever it's just a regular tomato so that's different but that's a different story folks were saying about fresh fruit this is not frozen and look this is organic which in Croatia would be bio just to show you a little price of it so organic or bio cram uh, I'm sorry blueberries they're roughly about seven dollars and the amount is it's about 300 grams a little over 300 grams so that's yeah seven dollars so you're taking a look at about 45 kuna for about 300 grams of organic blueberries continuing we're not going to show you all but just to, to show you um see different fruits and vegetables you have apricots just look at this oranges different kinds of citrus fruit if you will asparagus you know carrots even in the off season of asparagus. Dress. You can have it all year round. Again, we're in Pennsylvania. We're not in a tropical, special part of the world. Uh, but look, you want red dragon fruit? You have it. I've never tried it. Plantain bananas. Star fruit. Star fruit. It's irrelevant. It's called star it, fruit. You can get it. <laughs> Remember how I said you don't have to go to a special bio store to get organic? Again, organic means bio. See, nature's promise organic bananas. So there you go. So there's the price. But again, just to show you, there is definitely a great choice of different fruits and vegetables. All sorts of stuff. Right? Greens, if you want, you can get anything you want. You can get baby spinach, kale, whatever you want. So again, it is a misconception that it's only frozen food. That's actually not true. So if you're looking to pay for baby spinach about half a kilo, a little bit less, you're looking at $5. So 32 kunas, you would be looking at about 75, 80 kuna for a kilo of baby organic spinach. It's quite expensive. Again, though, it's bio. Yeah, it's organic. Course, it's not just the regular kind. You could get cheaper. Let me show you, for me, a very important part. And this is where, where U.S. stores lack, which is bakery part or the bread part. Come, I will show you. So the bread part is pretty much here. This is the bread part. So in terms of size, it's not much smaller, but there's not a good choice of breads because a lot of these breads are, what I call it, it's not real bread. You know, they're in plastic, but there is some real bread but it's also very expensive and this is about 300 grams so four dollars you're looking at roughly 25 kuna in Croatia if we're just talking to Konzum and there's usually much better breads in Croatia especially if we're speaking Croatia in general you have in my hometown you have more bakeries that I can count and here in the United States it's very hard to find good bread unless you live in a big city or in a special neighborhood. This is something that you don't see much in Konzum in Croatia, at least I haven't noticed unless something changed in the last year. These cookies and cakes and whatnot, if that's what holds your boat, you can get that gingerbread cookies. Uh, yeah. You also have pre-chopped onion and stuff, and again, it's organic. So if you need to make a quicker meal and you don't have really time to chop stuff like that, uh, this gives you an option to have it done. I don't want to beat the dead horse, but you can see that there's a significant choice of fresh fruit. And there's actually another whole section of organic stuff, potatoes, onion, garlic, all that. If you want to buy red peppers here, these are not organic. Uh, you're looking at three dollars a pound so roughly 20 kuna for half a kilo so 40 kuna for a kilo so broccoli is about one dollar and eighty cents for a half a kilo so let's just round it up to 24 kuna for a kilo of broccoli a different little section with different fresh fruit that are already pre-cut options that are organic some that are not you know cut pineapple watermelon it's more like it's for like parties someone. yeah like if you have a party and you don't or want to chop all your stuff. Different veggies, yeah, this is if you have a party, you don't have to do it yourself. It's done for you. And yeah. Chicken, rotisserie chicken, same as in Konzum, except this one's organic. Interesting enough, you know, Pennsylvania is a landlocked state, but there's quite a decent supply and choice of different seafood. Mm. Just hooked. Scallops, scallops, wild caught. So, raw shrimp, peeled, deveined, then you have cooked. 
Then these are the organic ones. Hmm? Lobster. Lobster tails. Salmon. Different meats. Chicken breast. So chicken breast here costs. I mean, they really vary. This is eight and a half dollars. Uh, one thirty-eight. About so that's thirty-eight a, per pound. So this is buy one get one free. And this is also, you know, vegetarian fed, no animal byproducts, raised no cage free. Products. Yeah. So it's a good deal. Butchers. Yeah. Over here, it's all meats, all different kinds of meat that you can. Imagine there's not a big difference in terms of what you can get except there's a much greater selection There's just simply more brands and more to choose from in Croatia or home what I call home You know if we want something organic or bio we have to go to Rijeka Which is about 30 minute drive even less so this whole aisle everything this is all organic This is all bio so you know you're talking about eggs you're talking about yogurt, kefir, milk uh, soy milk, almond milk, whatever you want, you can get it. Organic cheeses, you get this whole section. You want chips, it is a little bit more expensive. Also, if you want something frozen, like french fries or anything like that, you have those here, they are organic. So you have canned food. So big difference. Uh, this is smoke and different drinks, soft drinks, juices and whatnot. But the difference is again, choices. Plus we have the mini cans, that's something you guys oh, don't have. Cool. That's true, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. These are cool because you know sometimes the can of Coke is too much, you just want three, four, three or four sips. So these little cans are pretty cool. This is uh, two deciliters, so this is really nice if you just want to have a few sips of Coke. And just to show flavors, there's orange vanilla Coke, there's cherry Coke. Zero sugar orange, then you have cherry, all sorts of things. Diet, cinnamon. Cat Caffeine free. Cinnamon Coke, caffeine yeah. free Coke. Look how many choices you have. And again, I don't drink any of the sodas. I'm never in this section. Jen does drink Coke, unfortunately. I drink Coke a lot. Just to show you <laughs> the difference. And I'm repeating again, I think, the third or fourth time in this video. I'm not saying which one's better. It's just to show you the difference. Nothing else. Oh, this is awesome. This is for beer pong. I used to do this in college all the time. It's funny that they put ping pong balls and Plastic cups. Plastic cups. <laughs> yeah. So it starts from here. This is all completely different brands. Anything that your heart desires, you can pretty much uh, get when it comes to that. So I think you get the point. This whole aisle. This is the moment where I'm just kind of gonna kind of jump in really quick. I like trying new and different cereals. It's, I know, it's again, it's a cultural difference, a cultural difference. Again, it's not saying that this is better, this is just different and this is what we grew up with. So yeah, this is the bread that I was telling you, it's very prevalent in the States. This is the bread they basically eat. It's not the bread from bakery when you go to Pekka or Pekka Mitz and you order fresh baked bread from early in the morning. This is what they usually eat. Not my favorite, you know, full of chemicals and additives. And you have mayos with many different flavors. For example, you have mayo with avocado oil. I've never even seen this. This is the first time I'm seeing it. But it's just, whatever we have, they will have at least three or four more flavors. So it's not necessarily healthy or good for you, but if you want it, it's there for you. This is something that Jen misses a lot. It's her mac and cheese. Couldn't care less in my case. And no, uh, I don't want to make realized. it homemade from scratch. Those of you who are no. expats living in Europe, and I'm talking about American expats, I'm sure you can relate to Janet. We're only taking five boxes home this time. Only five. And they make ah. it with natural colors now. It's not artificial like when I was a kid. It's actually not so bad. So if I remember from our Konzum video, I think the price of Barilla spaghetti was about eight kuna. Eight something, it's a buck and a half, buck two, it depends. And so it's about the same price. But a few days ago it was on sale for a buck. Sure. So it, it do have more sales lots of sales. Here, yeah. And this entire bulk knee size, this is all frozen section. Everything, anything that you really want to get, both sides. This entire section, both sides. Frozen pizza is big here, I guess I'll show that. There's lots of frozen pizza. Unfortunately, it's becoming a little bit more popular. 
in Croatia, but the, we always make our own pizza. We, we make everything from scratch. We love to cook. And lots of fries, different options for frozen french fries. Well, yeah. Just pointing it out. Mm, mm, pierogies. Oh, I do love pierogies. Yum. But what I want to show is how big the frozen section is. And then we have it on the other side as well. And this whole thing, this is all, all different ice creams. Yeah, sorry, I hope you heard me. So all of that, this is all different ice creams. This side as well, many, many different brands. I don't want to really get into that. But I think you get the point. So this is another part where you can get anything frozen, different kind of fruits and veggies. You know, what I do for my smoothies, I just get an organic, organic bag of blueberries. I do the same thing in Croatia, except they're not organic. And that's how I make my morning smoothies. All right, here is where I will totally give Croatia more kudos. Puff pastry, which I really like to cook with. I really like cooking with puff pastry, but pretty much here I can only get it frozen. It's kind of a pain in the butt because you got to get through the whole thawing thing and work through that. Whereas in Croatia, when I was living in Vienna too, in Austria, I could get refrigerated. Yeah. But yeah, take that US. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Before we offend someone else. And as a lot of you know, one of the best cream cheeses you can get anywhere is Philadelphia cream cheese. We are only an hour away from Philadelphia, so we all grow up. How much does it cost? Uh, this is 340 grams, which is yeah. 10 ounces, and it is four dollars and fifty cents. Four and a half dollars, so twenty For close grams. to thirty kuna, roughly. But here you can get like all kinds of flavors. I think they have that in Croatia too, though. They do, but all not as many. Flavors. Chive and onion, strawberry, garden vegetable, smoked salmon, brown sugar, garlic and herb. Ooh, that sounds good that sounds actually really good. also I, I have to say one thing here in the states you have a lot more deals i think or they're more often what we would say aktia and you can also use coupons you know find them in a newspaper and whatever something is let's say three dollars uh, if you have a coupon it costs only two. Oh, the mama we don't have that no this is jen's favorite vegetable i love edamame so good and you see it in this bag. There's nothing added to it. It's literally just edamame. You put it in the microwave. It steams in this bag and you have steamed edamame. You crush some coarse salt on it. Healthy, delicious snack or lunch or something like that. Alright, so let me just show you milk. You Again, you have many different choices of milk. Uh, whether you want organic milk, soy milk, or almond milk. It's roughly about a liter, just under a liter. And Right now it's a dollar, so 6.2, 6.5 kuna, so it's quite similar. Alright, so this was the heated uh, part of the video where I think Jen compared to the simple size of the pet aisle. Now, let me just get one thing straight. There are entire stores that are literally this size, if not bigger, devoted nearly only to pets, whether it's pet toys, pet food, yeah, and it's all here where she lives. And again, about the same size town as our hometown where we live in Croatia or in Ukraine, so to be more exact. But look, this entire aisle, everything, all of this is devoted to pet products. Just bigger and more choices, that's it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, it's your choice whether you uh, buy it or not. Temptations, I believe, in Croatia, this is called Dreamies. This is basically cocaine for our cat. And you can get two of them for six bucks. So we buy cat litter, which is piesak, yeah? Samachke. And usually there's one or two different brands, maybe three if you go to them. Not the greatest selection. Or in my hometown, Tsikvenza, we used to go to, uh, with, um, to the vet. And there was also one or two brands. That's it. Look, so starting here, all this from here, all this is cat litter. All different brands. You want it bigger, you want it clumping, you want it smaller, you want it with other odor, you want it without odor, all that, all of this, look at this. So till, till about here, this is all different kinds. And this is very convenient. You know, you don't have to go to a special pet store, you have it here if you want it. So that's the only thing Jen was alluding to, was the size and choice. Not that it's better or not. We pretty much can find whatever we want in my hometown too. It just sometimes requires more work. 
Whereas here, it's just simply more available. I don't know if you guys want to see the price. Whatever, let's just choose one. So this is about $10, so 60, let's just say 65 kuna. And you get nine, nine kilos. But I think you can get much better quality. Just simply because of the variety, you can get better cat litter that hides the odor much better and it clumps much better. Oh, there's a cute tiger would okay, like some of these. Shop, oh, well are, that kitty even looks sort of like tiger. Oh, look, look, and look at this. Uh, you know how Konsum has that blue card, and after you spend like 100,000 kuna, you get like a $20 or 20 kuna off. Here you have this card giant card that you give to a cashier and if you can see uh, for example with that card you say 58 cents which is a decent amount that's three kunas three kunas um, to to that particular item and almost every item has that so if you have that card your savings are quite substantial much more than for example if you have a consum card and uh, but also you can choose after a while let's say you spend five hundred dollars worth of groceries or whatever you bought you get giant also has their gas station outside and you get money on us gas? correct this section here is fairly similar to to consume where you can get your you know oral hygiene shampoos but one of the differences here is that i don't have to go to a pharmacy to get regular medications now if it's a prescription yeah that's one thing you need to go to the pharmacy but if i just need some Ibuprofen. Well, if you want ibuprofen, you can get like this giant one. This is 1,000 tablets of ibuprofen. Granted, here they're all 200 grams. 200 milligram tablets. What did I say? Grams? You said grams. That's a, Sorry. That's a hardcore That's a lot. ibuprofen. It's for a horse. <laughs> uh, yeah. 1,000 tablets for $17. $17. $17. Yeah. So, 100 for an hour. So. If I need my allergy medication, I just get it at the grocery store or at Target. If I need some NyQuil, and if you don't know what NyQuil is, it will save your ass if you get sick and it will let you sleep through the night. It's good medicine and I don't need to go to a pharmacy. I just come to the grocery store. Alrighty folks, well I hope that you found this a little interesting, maybe a little entertaining. So like we did before, we made the video in Croatia so Americans can see what it's like to grocery shop in another country. And we got the impression that maybe some of you who don't come from the States, Maybe we're a little bit curious of what it's like to go grocery shopping here in the same size town as where we live in Croatia, Milos' hometown. Also, please, please, please like and subscribe to our channel for lots more great videos, and we'll see you next time. Toodles.